We're talking today about anisette liqueur. And this is all I have left. We make it regularly. And I thought I would jump in here and just film it for you so you can see how we do it. Liqueur is typically alcohol uh, infused with herbs or spices, okay? So in this particular recipe, we're using, and this is a book, this is a book I found years ago, and uh, I love it. It has so much, so many good recipes in it. But for the anisette liqueur, we're gonna use five tablespoons of anise seed crushed, one and a half teaspoons of fennel seed crushed, one and a half teaspoons of ground coriander. And then, um, I, to crush them, I just lightly, 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 this is, a, uh, this is a coffee grinder, but I use it for my spices all the time. So I lightly crush them, and what we're gonna do is just put that right in there, like that. And then it calls for a cup of honey in this recipe, but I don't know, a cup I think is way too much honey for this. And so, I better not do that. So I use a half a cup. So what I'm gonna do is just put a half a cup of honey in here. Here we go, half a cup of honey right there. And I'm gonna squeeze out all that honey. Now, if, if this is made and I want to make it a little sweeter, you can add some honey afterwards. But uh, we always make it with a half a cup. I just don't want it too sweet. I really want it for the medicinal purposes. And that's exactly what we use it for. Okay, and then it says to fill it up with brandy. Well, this is the end of one of my brandy bottles. It says three cups, and I know that this jar holds four cups, and so I really don't ever measure it. Actually, I'm just gonna put all that in there just like that. Just like that. And so, let's get a knife and just stir it up yeah just stir it like that get all that honey mixed up in there and then we're gonna put the lid on and you let it sit for two weeks and see if it's a taste you want we usually go two weeks we usually pretty much know that two weeks is the way we like it and uh, then you take cheesecloth or a um, a real fine a strainer like this and uh, pour it through there and strain it. I would do it a couple times. If you have a coffee filter, set it inside that strainer and strain it. And so this is what it looks like and it's gonna sit there and seep. Now, why do we do this? We use it for digestion. Aniseed has malic acid in it and malic acid helps in digestion. So if you're one that burps or toots a lot, this is wonderful just wonderful for that and we drink just a small amount we're not going crazy that's all that we pour that in the evening and um, usually I have it before I go to bed a lot of people have it before they eat especially if you have a lot of issues with your stomach have it about a half hour before you eat that would work now the other things they say that anisette liqueur is good for I wanted to read it to you it says that it aids with breathing problem as an antibacterial and an anti-inflammatory property. She still uses it as her mother's remedy uh, to save the toxic blends of cough syrups. Um, Anisette works surprisingly well to soothe any sore throat and to help clear stuffiness. So I haven't, I don't, I don't have very much stuffiness and um, so I don't know, I can't, I can't uh, attest to that myself. But um, I know that it really does well for our tummies. And so I just thought I'd show it to you. And like this has a little bit of settlement in it. I need to strain it again so we can drink the, uh, the rest of it. And then we'll let this set. And in two weeks, it'll be ready to go. All right. Any questions, holler out at me. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Have a good day.